Hi YouTube. Today we are going to try to beat Warm Snow on the first difficulty without attacking. And that means no using melee, no using flying swords. I do have a plan for this. I don't know if it's going to work, but we will see. I'm going to start the game. Let's just see if my plan will work right away or if I'll need to come back real quick. You can see I have my entire board filled out. Look at this and you can see all of these are not useful to me at all because I can't use flying swords. Oh. It's interesting. Huh. Interesting. I unlock Celestial Jade. I've never done that yet. As you can see, we're on fine snow. Now let's just check. We're going to be going for... Uh, the White Frost ability. I will also not be using my sheath. These are all good, but none of them are what we need. So I'll be starting over. Give it another try on the recording, but otherwise, I will probably skip through this. Might just do a fast forward. Show you how many times it'll take me before I get it. I suppose I could use this relic. I'm not going to. If I get a legendary one, I'll start the run. I guess I'll start distilling these just in case oh my goodness I got one yeah legendary poison sack okay um, this is not what I had planned to do for the run but I will give it a shot maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get both We did not get both. Okay, well. Let's give this a shot, see how it goes. We are on the fine snow difficulty, the easiest one. So it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, well, I took a hit on the first enemy, so. Not really a great sign. And they both go through it. 
or the bottom one somehow didn't. That's kind of annoying. Wow, well, took a hit on him too. But yeah, we will not be attacking. As a matter of fact, let us bind them to keys that we will not hit. Flicker we can keep. Shoot flying sword. And left and right click, do nothing. And R does nothing. This will be the time where I tell you that I'm not an expert at this game and that I might die even on fine snow. Wow. There we go. This run is going to take a very long time. might give you some little fast forward portions just so that you can avoid some of the tedium because most of this is just going to be me trying to hit enemies with these little poison clouds there we go dodge that. So for these, I'm going to dash through them. I won't even be attacking those. Oh, he attacks behind him. Didn't realize that. He only takes two ticks of poison, too. It's interesting. As you can see, the damage is not good. It's not horrible, it's just, uh... Not good. I honestly might need to heal. This does absolutely nothing for me. So I will distill that. Well, yeah, might as well get some healing off that and potentially extra damage. Let's uh, let's actually check that. Yeah, I'm doing six or seven damage to these guys. Seven, seven. If I distill this, later nerds, seven. Well, a 1% difference wouldn't make a difference on seven anyway. That was a bit of a bad pool to put down. So is that, walk into it, good job, and dead, nice, oh he didn't walk into that, no way, I'm gonna get you this time, done, 
right? Oh, I'm lucky. Uh, easy every time. That was the triple or even quadruple poison? Yep. Might as well blow some of this stuff up, stuff up on the side. Just for fun. Now this boss is going to be interesting. She's getting hit. Oh, come on. Jumped right into it. Do not know how to avoid that attack, if I'm being honest. Somehow she's not getting hit by that. Hopefully now. Yep. Nice. Nice. That was perfect. Good job. Jumping right into it. There we go. Be sure. No. Okay. Well, I screwed that one up a little bit. And wow. There we go. First boss beaten. Oh, Ghostly Strand is incredible. That greatly should increase the damage I'm doing. This increases my movement speed by 2%, so I guess I'll take it. Oh, no way. After all this time, I get it on the first boss. This is what we were trying to roll for. Uh, every 60 seconds, for 15 seconds, it will uh, have some frost damage fly across the map and damage everything. So now we've got two ways to damage enemies without attacking. Pretty excellent, if you ask me. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I want to increase the or movement speed. Uh, of course, I'm not beholden to this at all. Two percent movement speed. I know I just said I wanted, but okay, we've got to run. Um, enemies with poison take 11% extra damage. You know what? I'm going to keep it like this. These are three great items to get on the first actual run. Let's see. Okay, so that's the frost damage coming across. 
That's not bad damage. Yep. That's not bad. These pigs are going to be a bit annoying. Okay. At least these guys follow closely, so they just go right through the smoke. Poison gas cloud. Okay, yeah. Oh, that one guy didn't get hit? Oh, no, he did. Okay. Very good. That guy didn't get hit, though. This is really not as bad as I expected. I know it's only the first area and it's the first difficulty, but I'm I'm going for an, uh, an elite. Well, that was, I guess, lucky timing. Maybe that attack only goes off if there are enemies for it to hit. I don't actually know. I don't think I'm capable of generating rage with this build, so I oh, walked into a barrier there, I guess. I will not be taking any items that rely on or otherwise benefit from uh, rage, no matter how good they normally are. Oops. Bit of a waste to use this on only a single enemy, but oh, he went right through the poison, didn't get hit. You got hit that time. Oh, and I put that in a pretty bad spot. Oh well, got a bunch of them with it the first time through. Will he get hit this time? Charge right through a tree. That's a pretty good trick. embarrassing. So as you can see, we do do frost damage. Not as often as we do. Oh, speaking of, unfortunately, we did, I don't believe that we freeze them, and even so, I don't want to get rid of this, obviously. Can't use this. Uh, yeah, that's not even worth taking, so I will do this. Take another sword. I don't think there are going to be too many swords that will be better than this one, but we can certainly see. The only thing I can think of is a sword specifically designed for poison build. I'm sure there is one, but I don't know what it is, and I don't know if you can even get it uh, when you pray to this statue. 
I assume you can only get it from either the last statue. Yeah, I think it's only the last statue that's poison focused. for the money right before the shop. Okay, this is pretty good. Unfortunately, we only got a white one. But I will take that. And yeah, that's actually pretty good too. I wasn't thinking of that. Can't afford that, but... And I don't think it's really that worth anyway. Oops. Not today. Thresh. This is kind of an ideal boss. She just kind of stands around and telegraphs her attacks, and I can just stand next to her. Oh, that was bad. Oh, well. Oh, that was... None of those are particularly great. I guess I'll take this one, even though it was just offered to me. Increased movement speed is pretty good. I'm gonna say no to the Nirvana. Um, this is way worse, obviously, than the Poison Sack. So I'm gonna say no to that. Get some more health back. Uh, another Relic. Or Elixir, as it may be. That was weird. It looked like that guy uh, got the poison without me putting it on him directly. Oh, come on. And gotcha. Oh. Walk into it at the last second? Yeah. Oh, he didn't. Okay. That's alright. You got it that time. I believe he dies from one dose. Yep. So does he. Oh, and they're getting stunned. Which is amazing. This guy may be a bit more of a problem, but we'll see. Huh. That is amazing. The the wind also gives the debuff. This too could be good, but I'm going to make a game time decision and say this is too close to an attack to be included. Sorry to anyone who was hoping to see that. Weird, because grabbing a book 
is pretty much always the correct option, but in this case, there aren't that many that can help me anymore. Well, I'm sure there are plenty that can, but getting a particular relic that its activation is just upon dealing damage might be better. We'll see. Oh, didn't hit that second guy. Maybe he'll walk into it. Got him. This is good. This is interesting. I wouldn't say it's good at all, but it's interesting. I am going to reroll. You know what? I got a second chance on that one. That was pretty lucky. I'm going to take that. Another book. Big group of guys here. I kind of dodged right into them. So, unless I get lucky and I get this wind queued up on that last room in the final zone with all of the small enemies, I might be in some trouble. So I don't really have any targetable damage that I can use at any given time. It really just needs to line up in terms of timing. Really wish that those guys could hit each other. That'd be kind of funny. Give you another way to outplay the game. Um... Melee or flying sword damage. I never realized that it said that instead of just deal damage, so I can't heal. <laughs> I'll increase my flicker distance because I am flickering a lot. Kind of indirectly increases my movement speed, I suppose. Oh, those guys attack behind themselves too, kind of like the big wolf guys in the uh, first zone. Do a little healing here. Better safe than sorry. Don't want to lose this run, definitely. Oh, I felt like I was out of the range of that. That's okay. Another book, sure. Just stay right there, gentlemen. Oh. Oops. Oh, I hit all three of them with that. That was pretty good. Gotcha. It should be one of those big ninja guys. Yep. And, oh, he almost backed into that, but not quite. He did that time, kind of. Oh, interesting. Seems like the cold wind kind of canceled his animation there. I don't know if that's true. That's utterly useless to me. So is this, mm, this doesn't do nothing, but it may as well. Huh, okay, well. This could be really stupid. I'm gonna take this. Mm, this Oh. 
，太棒了！再给我更多、更多的礼物。啊、uh, ，not a great、uh, outcome there. That's okay. Let's uh, let's see about this. Oh, legendary. Okay. Ah,、uh, this is actually excellent. <laughs> so, yeah, I want that. And yeah, this is pretty much the ideal run.、Uh, I just want all of my relics to be legendaries, of course. So let's see what happens when I fight this guy. It's kind of annoying that he wasn't hit by that poison that he went through, but that's all right. Uh, yeah, damnation definitely works. Oh, there was some hold over there. Whatever. You got hit that time. Maybe again. Um, and he's dead. Okay. Second phase might actually be easier than his first phase, just because he's a lot more stationary. We'll have to see when we get there, though. Usually, you know, you kill him so fast that you don't even really see his attacks. We'll see what happens. Oh, that was really good timing. Got the、uh, the ice wind right when I wanted it. Oh,、uh, that was really stupid of me. And huh? Looks like Am poisoning his head. I don't know if that's actually doing anything. Um, doesn't look like it. Oh, jeez! If that hits you, I think that's an instant kill. Made me waste a poison. Jerk. And dead. Okay.、Uh, of course, we got a melee thing. Not useful. That's all right. Get some more HP. This is a big bone. Yeah, not useful at all. Ice form. That actually is really good. That plays into mechanical casing really well. True damage equal to 60% of my shield strength, and yeah, so that's 30%, and then 60% of 30%. So that's about two thirds of 30%. So that's like 20% of my max health every time I deal damage in true damage, something like that. A little bit less, but that is pretty good.、Uh, I didn't get much money there, huh? Well, I'm gonna try to get this. To an impossible. Okay. Um, I lost the poison damage portion of it, but that's fine. That's never gonna give me poison damage plus because you know why would you want that most of the time on this build? I guess most people aren't absolutely insane. Oh, that was easy.
I mean, obviously the shields give me a buffer in case I mess up, which, you know, I will be doing a lot. So that's another nice feature. Aside from the damage, let's just test that. 30 and, thir and 22. I think that was after the shield was gone. Yeah, 24. Yeah, the shield is definitely working. We've got both shields on now. Um... So yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to try to increase my max health because these shields are all based on my max health. So increasing my max health just increases my damage now, which is great, obviously. this no yeah pretty much the only things that I want are legendary virgin versions of the things that I already have obviously the impossible version of this sword too not entirely sure what it does you know probably it does something with the uh, sheath effect from ghostly strand so it it effectively does nothing for me. That's okay if so. It'll have better stats. Oh, that was perfect timing. kind of weird. I know I have damnation, so I'm obviously incentivized to not get hit, but my shields also go down when I get hit, and my shields add to my damage, so I'm doubly incentivized, even though I just got hit like three times in a row. This is a smaller chest, so I think it's either going to be white or epic only. It's only white, but... Oh, this is a... Pretty good relic. I can't use it though. It's not as good as the other ones I have. This is pretty good, but I don't think it's as good as the Hy Hydra Gyrum? Hydrargyrum? I'm not sure quite how to say that. I'm guessing that that's an old word for mercury, but I really don't know. I mean, mercury is poisonous. It looks like that. Oh, this will be interesting. Oh no. I'm gonna have to stand around and wait, see if this thing is affected by the, the uh, cold wind. It is. Okay, so every time we see one of these things, we're just going to have to wait a minute. Literally a minute. Oh boy. The library section is going to be fun. I seem to remember a lot of those things there. Uh, I'm an idiot. Huh. 
That guy died instantly. It must have been the Hydra Gyrum activating. The Mercury. I'm just going to call it Mercury. That was weird, I didn't even move for that one. You shot in the wrong direction. I'm not complaining. Though I am kind of complaining about these guys, I hate them, even when they're visible. Most people who aren't bad at video games, like me apparently, probably don't know this, but there is actually an achievement for dying specifically to that enemy. go through and see if I can... No, I'm not going to make it in time. I was going to see if I could get to uh, Crane Sculptures if they were there before the cold wind blew wore off. more of these guys and another sculpture yeah I I hate this enemy he jumped right into my poison haha <laughs> fool good okay this is good I mean, max HP is just purely damage when my shields are up. All attack, I don't know if any of my damage is affected by that, but obviously defense plus is nice too. Get poisoned. Oh, oh wow. I didn't even hit him. Just trying to get the crossbow boy. Get him on this one. Hopefully. Yep. Oh, that guy's smart. He didn't walk in like his friend. Doesn't matter. Got him in the end. Alright, let's see what we have in the shop. I would think about purchasing a ghostly strand. Huh. Let's see. Okay, I mean, yeah, this is probably better than this. Yeah, please give me a legendary. White. Honestly... Yeah, this is exactly the same. Oh no, it's twice as long between. Hmm.
Yeah, you know what? This is probably still better. And again, that was good timing. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll just... Come to me, baby. Never mind. Gotcha. Wow, how did that not hit me? Wow, that was amazing timing. And gotcha. It's all over, bud. Oh, shield boost is amazing. Nope. Never gonna have both of those. Not gonna use this, obviously. So, in case it's not clear, the reason why shield boost is amazing, I know I've said this a couple times, but increasing the amount of shields that I have directly increases the damage that I do based on uh, the legendary effect of mechanical casing in the power slot. It's very good. Honestly, oh, I guess that's what the toxic fog looks like, the little green cloud there. Mechanical casing, no, this is not going to be good. Is honestly very good in that slot, even on high difficulties. Just because if you can get your health high, you can add tons of damage. You know, it's like you built the Trinity Force. Tons of damage. Uh, another crane sculpture. Fortunately, I can at least kill these guys while the sculpture is still up. Otherwise, that would be really annoying. I wonder if I can poison this guy through the wall. Doesn't look like it. Just for convenience sake, I will uh, speed these up um, in the uh, editing, just because there's no real interesting part of standing around waiting for that to trigger. Oh, unlucky. Another one right there. Please, please, please kill it. Yeah. Lightning lock. That's interesting. Uh, not interesting enough. But interesting nonetheless.
I mean, I'm gonna take a book. I could have gone to the elite. At least it's only 60 seconds. Frost damage plus is nice. Yeah, you know what, I'll take that. Um... Bruise Herb is healing. Don't really care for that. Um... Honestly, I'm just gonna save. I'm going to try and get my sword up to impossible after the boss, if I survive. This is a DPS race after all, and I don't know if I will be able to beat it. Hopefully I'll get some toxic, which will deal a lot of damage because I have damnation. So it might do actually 8% of her health, like it should. Wow. Not trying to be mean, but wow, those subtitles. Oh, come on, she did it immediately. Ooh, this is bad. <gasps> that was amazing timing. Thank you, cold wind person. She already did it again. Well, that was rude. Stand right in the middle of that, huh? Oh my god, she teleported right to where there already was one of those. No! This could be bad if I don't get the wind. Oh, well, okay. Unfortunate timing, it came right after. She might die in time.
Oh, look at that. Yes. And I had my free revive. She died to the poison. Okay, that's definitely an issue. These things cannot be poisoned. Okay, guess I'm gonna have to wait. Let me just double make sure that I didn't just miss. Yeah, looks to be the case. Luckily, it looks like they don't despawn, so by the time that the next wind gets queued up, maybe they'll all be on screen, and I'll just be able to end it all in one. Looks like it. I mean, pretty close. Now I just need to. Oh! Very close. Now I just need to live another 60 seconds. Don't know if there's an enrage mechanic in this fight. I also don't have very much health left because of the black holes. That was stupid. Give me another wind. Gotta be soon, right? There we go. It should end the fight. Easy. Uh, this is upon dealing damage. Oh, no, it's not. Hmm, not good. Oh, well. Uh, yeah. More frost damage is nice. Hmm. This is interesting. Getting an Ambrosia for the dodge chance and damage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and the extra poison damage, but no, this has gotta be way better. I'm understanding it correctly at least. And let's see if I can get up to impossible. There we go. When Doom Effect deals damage, you have a 33% chance to summon Ghostly Hair to deal 300% true damage to nearby enemies and cause something. Okay. Okay, um, yeah, this is really good. Okay, yeah, obviously those are not useful to me. Ooh, that was some slow down there. Uh, please don't tell me these guys are immune. No, they aren't. They just somehow escaped all of those times. 
All right, yeah, I mean, like, no offense, but good luck trying to make a sword better than this. Oh, look at that. They've oh, that must be the ghostly strand. That was super cool. Very nice. That seems to happen pretty regularly. What is the chance on that? 33% chance. Huh. Pearl. Honestly, Pearl is pretty good. Um, with a shield build. Bottom slot, you get another 15%, but... Oops, a little bit too early there. Any health orbs? Not that I really need them, I just want to be safe. Beating this on my first try would be kind of cool. I know it's easiest difficulty. Might revisit this later on a higher difficulty. We'll have to see. Interesting. He was stuck there. I like that. I hate those turtles. They're very annoying to kill, in my opinion. Especially on higher difficulties, obviously, but... Honestly, this whole area is a little bit annoying to me, but... You know, it just means they're good enemies. Not pushovers. Come on. I was asking about boss enraged timers. I never really thought about it, but I kind of have an enraged timer. What was in this room? Nothing? Huh. Guess so. Yeah, if I don't kill the enemies fast enough, then the wind starts blowing and they all die. Let's go right here. Not sure what difference that'll make, but... That was convenient. Kind of cheesing it a little, staying on the ground after I get hit, so I don't get blown up by those guys. It's not like, oh, it's not like a huge advantage. You can just dodge out of the way of them normally. There we go. I was a little lucky that I hit him there, but I'll take it. Love to see a relic room. Okay, so if this is a legendary, ah, uh, it's not. Okay. Now I can't afford that. That's okay. Neither of those are particularly interesting to me. Well, I'll put a little thing over there. It's unlucky. Doesn't matter, I guess. Would have been gone anyway. Good timing on that again. That's got to be key to only go off when there are enemies in the room. And another charging enemy that does not get hit by the debuff while they're charging. That's alright, I hit him. 
Ooh, okay. And I hit him with toxic, so yeah, he's gonna explode. Oh, I guess the toxic only works while he's actually in it. That's interesting. It doesn't afflict him with toxic. Well. Oh, okay. So it gave me another one of these, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, this one is not nearly as good. Let's see. No, no. This is interesting, but not nearly as good as this. And no. What did I just do? Oh, I guess I didn't uh, get rid of the sword the first time. Huh. This is good. I mean, I'm going to be spending souls, but not that many. Nice, the turtle went into that. Both those guys went into that. That other turtle still over here? No. Well, I hit them all. I don't really care that I got hit since, well, I've got a shield on. I've got two shields on. They need to hit me for 30% of my health to even deal damage. Useless. Kind of good. This is also good. I'm gonna take that. Let's increase my damage even more. It's interesting. I think that's gotta be a mistake. I've seen this before. There's nothing over there. Uh, I'm gonna go in the sword room, even though there's not gonna be a better sword. I will most likely get a sword worth more, or a similar value at least, to what I would have gotten in the money room anyway. Nice try, turtle guy. What? Focus through the wall. Got him. Now walk into it. Good boy. He's not going to, though. Yeah. Got him. There we go. Nope. Um, yeah, sword. I am not particularly scared of the next boss at all, just because he's entirely stationary, other than the adds that he spawns, but I can pretty much ignore those for the duration of the fight. I. I'm really terrible at dodging those guys. Uh, I don't know why. I jumped right into that. There. Love that ghostly strand effect. So cool. I mean, as nice as it is to get legendary relics or elixirs, whatever, 
Um, I really just don't think a lot of them will actually help me. Um, I'm going to go for the Elite, just in case it is a book that can help me. Gonna heal first. Wow, that was big. Believe these guys will walk in. They do. And I'm sure that this is going to be a major speedrun game, whether or not, you know, uh, pre-made save files will be used just to avoid the hassle of having to go through and get an appropriate weapon every time. So maybe there'll be categories, you know, something like uh, Sun Piercer Damnation Start uh, speedrun. Obviously, difficulty level 2. I don't know if there are visible seeds in this game yet. The modding community might be able to tease those out. We'll see. Um, yeah, that could kind of blow the whole thing open. But my main point that I was going to make there was... Uh, oh, that's interesting. Uh, they made that explosive guy into a... Uh, an elite, so it made no difference really, because they're invincible. But anyway, my main point there was, uh, this could be a good category. No melee, no flying sword. This is interesting. Increasing all damage they take by 40% for 3 seconds. Mm. Good for boss fights. This is better for boss fights still, I think. Just because the toxic damage is going to be so stupid. Apologies if you hear the messages in the background. Don't need that. This could be good. Mm. No, I'm an idiot. It could not really have been good. Because it would only have been good in this slot. Oh well. More health. More shields. More damage. Curious if the second phase of this boss is just gonna explode. I kinda kinda no pun intended, because he explodes if I kill him, but I mean more along the lines of if the toxic damage, since he's just standing there, is going to be good enough to just kill him. Oh, come on, you jerk. You knocked me out of range. What did I hit them with up there? How did they get doomed? Maybe that's one of the effects of the impossible sword. That it can spread doom. Oh, he did it again. This honestly is such a cool boss fight. The Oh wow, they both went into the, uh, the poison. That's pretty lucky. But it's such a cool boss fight, because they have this whole wheel in the middle that decides which attacks he's going to do, and then he combines them. Very cool stuff. I wish that I could read old Chinese so I could know what it says. That kind of looks like the modern character for man, but I don't think that's what it is. Or... Maybe it's Field? Those characters look kind of similar to me. I'm thinking of the right thing. I don't know. Oh, he did it again. 
the jerk. They knocked me right into the middle, that's kind of fun. That was on me. That was on me too. That hit me. I'm a little surprised by that. There's the toxic. He's dead. I got hit by several of those attacks that I shouldn't have. Not that it made a difference, but I'm just kind of embarrassed. Please tell me that he gets hit. By the wind. I don't know when that last triggered. Just hit a stopwatch. If after a minute this doesn't go off, then I'm gonna have to figure something out. Okay, this will actually work. Put that there, and then in 30 seconds, when my ice shield restores, that should hit him. Hopefully. Oh, let's go. Perfect items. I cannot believe that, honestly. Also, blood fungus, huh? This is pretty much the only slot I could give up, and yeah, those are not good effects for this build. Nope. This is interesting. I mean, yeah. Let's uh, let's take that for bosses. Show this little effect up here, just just in case you haven't stopped to see it. Oh no. Okay, what have we got here? Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll take that. That's useless, that's useless. Um, this is too much like an attack, I'm not gonna use that.
this is another one that could work. Um, not going to do it. Oh, you know what? I'm stupid. This toxic fog must have been doing toxic this whole time. And this is just doing poison. So I probably should just get rid of this. That's... I thought it was the opposite. Unless... Oh. Yeah. So this is toxic because it's legendary. That's interesting. Okay, I mean, this is another, basically, attack that could go on the bottom, but... An attack without being an attack, but I'm not gonna use it. Uh, what do I have on here? Poison damage. I have to assume that poison also affects toxic, because I don't think I've ever seen... Uh, toxic plus on a weapon. That being said, maybe you just can't increase toxic... or increase toxic damage? That'd be interesting. Frostbite effect could kick in here, but, you know, that wouldn't really do too much. These guys don't have that much health. We're not playing on Blizzard difficulty or anything, so... Wow! I'm, uh, damaging myself quite a bit here. I must have just been standing in the poison there. I'm a tiny bit scared that the Tiger Guard guy might be immune to poison. I, you know, have no reason to believe that he is, but if he is, that obviously is a huge issue. And I'll have to wait 60 seconds multiple times just for the uh, frost damage wind to blow in. Oh, come on. That thing tracks pretty well. Alright, that guy can be toxic, so the Tiger Guard probably can too. Oh. Um, Relic. Poor health. Got him right as he was leaving there. Oh, okay, nice try. Ooh, he actually hit me. Good. Jeez, these guys are annoying, man. They do a lot of damage and they have a lot of health. I'd be really bummed if we ended up losing this one. Especially after that clutch victory against uh, the second boss. Or, well, I guess kind of the first boss. No, the second boss. What am I saying? That was annoying. Just get hit and die. Not me. Important distinction to make, I suppose. Yes, all three of them got hit. This is what I get for taking damnation. Oh, 
Oh, reached out for one last hit before departing from this mortal coil. That guy jumped right through and didn't get poisoned. No way. Alright, this time he's got to, right? If he jumps anywhere, please. Okay. Dude, this is the worst archer encounter since the Silver Knight in on Orlando. Oh, come on, and he jumps out of the poison, too. Oh, this st stupid character. Enemy, whatever you want to call him. Oh, my god, dude. Money, money. No, they keep knocking me away right before the- oh, he jumped in anyway. Thanks. It would be really convenient if I had a visual timer of when the poison was going to go off. Oh. That guy shouldn't be able to do that attack if he's not on screen. Charging in from off screen to hit you? Kind of annoying. Hey, if this is a legendary, no. I was gonna say, well, I mean, this is almost certainly worth it, because this is doing nothing right now. Yeah. Give me this. Give me that. Uh, terrible. More health, more shield, more damage. Uh, it's unfortunate she can't take damage while she's like up in the rafters or whatever that's supposed to be. I guess crawling along the ceiling. Oh well. Seems like this build is better at taking out bosses than it is at fighting enemies. Which I guess is pretty normal. But what sort is this? Trinity? Oh yeah. I've seen that before. And yet again, more health. Hmm. Battle hardened isn't bad. I'm gonna reroll. Should probably not have rerolled there, but health boost isn't bad either. Sword or money? I'm gonna go sword. Come to think of it, I'm not playing on a higher difficulty right now, so it might actually be better to go money. Just because it's not, you know, guaranteed to get a an epic or anything. Nice. He's just gonna die. I don't have to worry about it too much. Good. They didn't even pierce my shield. I guess now I've got multiple shields, which is great. I've got three of them instead of just two. That guy's in a really annoying spot. I'm gonna need him to... I'm out of there. Yeah, 
get poisoned. No. There we go. I keep saying poisoned. I guess I should say toxic. But toxic. Not really a doesn't really roll off the tongue. <sighs> I could definitely realistically die to the tiger guard. Or to the room before the tiger guard. Because I have no flasks left. I've got to stay out of that poison if I want to live. And... Nice. There we go. Hurricane is useless. I am using that. Leech Fang. Useless. This is potentially useful. I'll take it. Oh, I was off by a room. I thought that this was the room with all of the enemies in it. Well, I suppose there are enemies in it, obviously. It's not the specific room I'm referring to. Stupid attack from off screen, man. Okay, he's toxic. Uh, actually, he wasn't. He is now, though. Good. Money. This is the room that I was thinking of. Well. Okay. Okay. Well, that was a pretty big explosion. That was very satisfying. <laughs> so was that. Yeah, that could have gone a lot worse. One more to go. Dead. All right. Definitely gonna buy this. Let's see. I mean, okay. What does this do down here? Increase by 15%. No. I mean, this is just purely better. Increase movement speed and more shield, obviously. Um, good. And health, of course. Oh, am I stupid? Did I already fight a boss? I must have already fought the Tiger Guard area boss. I can't remember that, though. And, yeah, this. I guess if I win, this will be the first time I get the true ending. Pretty cool. He's uh not getting toxic for some reason. Now he is. Oh, that actually hit me. What a jerk. Gotta, oh, he's taking flame damage? I don't think I did that.
And yeah, that should be him. He's dead. Yep. Well, not dead, I guess, as we'll see. X cute. He used to be cute, but not anymore. Nah, I'm just gonna leave. Um, I deal damage to a frozen target. Now, let's see. Does the wind freeze people? Deals frost damage to them. No, does not freeze them. So, none of those do anything. Bigger. Sure. When attacked, I have a chance to freeze. I guess I'll look at it. Nope. Not good. I guess I'll look at this too. No. Not good. Or at least incompatible. Later, dude. I'll save the kingdom, don't worry. At least I hope I will. It'd be a bit of a bummer if I didn't. This could be a legendary. It is not. So could this. It is not. More health. I mean, this isn't bad, but I mean, it, it is bad actually, because I don't think the boss can be stunned or feared. Healing just for fun. Uh, yeah. Well, gave me a lot of money that I can't use, but that's alright. Alright, wish me luck. I don't actually know how the defenses work in this game. Is me taking off 5% equivalent to saying that if they have 5% reduction, they now have 0% reduction? Or if they have 25% reduction, or 20% reduction, they now have 16. Is that math? That might have not been math. Okay. Well, he's toxic. He's not taking much damage. Just hit him for a thousand. Frost damage. Must have been... I don't know. Oh, uh, my least favorite part. Oh, I only got hit like... What was that, like four times? Could have been way worse, I suppose. Oh, that hit me. Getting Corrupted Dragon would have been kind of interesting, because I believe that that triggers off of damage. So I could have uh, summoned swords to fight for me, which could be fun. Need to keep moving continuously again, just to get my shield back up. 
do more damage. Hey, he is... He was bleeding for a second. What am I doing to cause that? Maybe it's one of these. But I don't think so. It might be a bug with Ghostly Strand. It might be giving me the, the benefit of it in uh, both slots. Well, I mean, it's looking pretty good that I'll have beaten this without attacking, without melee attacking or uh, using a flying sword once, at least. I definitely could still lose. Be pretty much the biggest choke that I've ever seen, but it could happen. Oh, this is the instant kill attack. If I don't get away from him, then I die. Well, at least I think that's what that is. It would be kind of poetic if I were to kill him with the, uh, the icy wind, which was the initial plan for this run, before I, you know, realized, oh, he's doing the instant kill attack again. I've never seen that twice. Maybe this is an enraged timer of sorts. Like, I might get less time every time? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, he's dead. GG's. Oh, there we have it. Um, true ending victory on, fair, to be fair, on fine snow. Um, without attacking or throwing a flying sword. The snow is stopped. Are you still okay? Something like that. Yeah, so, I mean, if this video ends up doing well, maybe I'll come back and do additional difficulties, but, you know, that was enough for now. <laughs> yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it gave you an idea to try out a new run on your own. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.